thanks to its outstanding tourist development, which has become the main economy activity. The typical food of the Bahamas has had a permanent evolution in these ingredients and the ways of preparation. All types to restaurants, from the simples to the most luxurious, stripes to other dinners and unforgettable gastronomic experience. Among the typical dishes of the Bahamas, seafood and fish are the protagonists. They are also specialists in drinks and rich fruit based desserts. A multicultural cuisine with influence of concourse and slivers results in a table full of strong flavors that remain engraved in the drawer's heart. Egg snapper. One of the most consumed in the Bahamas is a snapper which either could be grilled or at this case baked. To prepare this typical dish of Bahamas gastronomy, it is baked for about an hour and in this presenting with white rice or salad depending on the alien. The typical music of the Bahamas is the gombe, which is a mystery of African drum right with traditional shapes locked to half a bullet of the year. Other rich meat of the Bahamas are reggae. Bahamian rock music and dance, some regard Bahamian music as American and African cultural domination. It's very common to hear all kinds of music in the Bahamas and especially music inspired by the former slave. Tourism and finance service are two most important economic activities and most 50 percent of the from Bahamas grown products of GDP come from tourism. As an attractive pool for offshore banking and investment, the financial service industry constitutes the second most important sector of the economy Arab to 15% of EPD. Hi, my name is Marinela and I'm going to give you some important facts about Ita Cameron. She was a Bahamian Danish singer and she especially sang jazz and gospel and left her mark in the Danish music culture through her entire career from her arrival in Denmark in the 1970s. She was made in Nile of Denmark in 1990. Hi, DeAndre Edonail Ayton is a Bahamian professional basketball player who currently currently plays for the Phoenix Suns of National Basketball Association NBA. A uh, two sixteen meters tall, he plays as center. I will talk about Janine Fox. She is a model and actress. She began her modeling career at the age of fifteen when a German photographer discovered her on a paradise island. Onika Tania Moraj Piri, better known as Nicki Minaj, is a Trinidadian rapper, singer, songwriter, actress and mother in the St. Gen district in the city of Puerto España in Trinidad and Tobago and great cap in the Surrey neighborhood of Jamaica in Queens, New York. Minaj is the best-selling female rapper in history, adding sales of 100 million single ads, lead and collaborative artists on more than 10 million albums. Blackburn Benjamin, a Paris Benjamin, born in 20th September, is a Trinidad, British, and actress, author, presenting woman, politician, and presenter, and singer. She is a no person of the children program to Japuri School, Flyway, and Fat Forward. On 28 June in two, um, 2010, Lady Benjamin was introduced to the House of the Lords as a light upper nominated by the Liberal Democrats. She has also won a special Lifetime Achievement Award from Batha. She was a shape person of the Woman of the Year. Joy Samuel was born on March 29, 1981 in Trinidad, Tobago and died on May 15, 2018 in a traffic accident in the United Kingdom. He was a footballer playing as a midfielder, playing in two international matches 
throughout his career. He was in clubs such as Aston Villa or Bolton Wanderers, among others. Okay, Kior Adrian Pola, he is a Italian cricketer, he born on 12th of May of 1987 and he is a captain of the West English cricket team. Um, he plays on limit of over cricket and he has the joint of the highest spades on the players in 2010 Indian Premier League and he playing of the Mumbai Idol. So, this is a typical dessert in Trinidad and Tobago. Instead of throwing away the fruit that is not ripe, the locals cut the semi ripe fruit into bite sized pieces with salt, black pepper, lemon juice, and chopped hot peppers. It's found in almost any part of the main towns and series, especially on the way to Maracas Bay. Favorite combos include pineapple and mango. Now we are going to make a very popular dish in Trinidad and Tobago that we call macaroni pie. It's a big pasta dish that is made up of macaroni, cheese, eggs, meal and seasonings. It is commonly served in the many Creole food stores, often accompanied by meat and peas when you buy your lunch. The first thing we are going to do is boil the macaroni and strain it. Cut an onion, pepper and chips. Now we made the mixture of the macaroni with two eggs, milk, cream, the chopped vegetables, cheese and meats. We add the mixture that we made to the macaroni and meats again. We put the macaroni in a grease mold and add more cheese on top. We are going to bake it for 45 minutes. Finally, we we'll let it cool, cut, and we will have our macaroni pie ready. Coconut water is a delicious, natural, and very common drink in Trinidad and Tobago. Besides that, it is very easy to do, and you find it easy anywhere on the beaches or in restaurants. You only need coconut, coconut water, water, milk, condensed milk, if you want, and ice. You can enjoy this delicious drink to accompany it with any meal or just to refresh yourself. Talking about Uganda's clothing, they have two principal national wardrobes, the Kansu and the Gansu. The Kansu is the most important male dress. Originally, the Kansu was made from black cloth. Today, the kansu is made from slick, cotton, poplin, or linen. The traditional kansu has maroon embroidery around the coir, abdomen, and sleeves. The embroidery is called omulera. It is worn at wearing ceremonies during the introduction. It is worn with a blazer, a suit jacket, or a sport coat. It is mandatory for important people to wear the kansu with a black vest. Female in Uganda has the important dress too. It is called the gomesi. It's very colorful and flow laid with a square neckline and shorts, puffed sleeves. The dress is tied with a such place below the waist over the hips. The gomesi has two buttons on the left side of the neckline. Most gomesi are made of silk, cotton, or lined fabric, with silk being the most expensive used in any occasion and the women of the rural areas of Uganda use it as their daily dress and wearing ceremonies is used just in the introduction and all the female members of the Grimm's family is required to be dressed in a gongs. The economy of Uganda the economy is basically agricultural and it also occupies some of the four-fifths of the working population. Uganda has a moderate climate that is especially congenial to the production of both livestock and crops. A 
As has been the case with most African countries, the economic development and modernization have been in normal stance that have been impeded by the country's political instability. The economy improved rapidly during the 1990s and early 2000s. Uganda has been acclaimed for its economic stability and high rates of growth. It is one of the few African countries that is actually praised by the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and the international financial community. In 1997, it was selected as one of the few countries to receive the debt relief for its successful implementation of the stringent economy reform project. Because of this, Uganda has been able to focus on eradicating poverty and expanding resources for exploitation, industries, and tourism. The fruit from Uganda originated from a mixture of flavors which in turn originated from the Arabic, Asian and English cultures. As the country is predominantly agricultural, the ingredients for its dishes are of good quality, which makes their dishes very healthy and tasty. In Uganda, the staple food is matoke. There are cooking bananas. Other, other food crops uh, include cassava, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, yams, beans, peas, ground nuts, cabbage, onions, pumpkins, and tomatoes. Some fruits such as orange, lemons, papayas, and pineapples are also grown. The, the matoke. This is undoubtedly the most, the most famous typical dish to eat in Uganda. It consists of a stew of chicken and green banana seasoned with different spices. To make this dish, on an apple is made which it meets with chicken and different vegetables. To prepare it, green pepper, onion, garlic, coriander, curry, ginger, chili peppers, and meat are used. The result is a deliciously flavored dish that you can try in any corner of the country. In 1995, a new constitution was promulgated, establishing universal suffrage as a way to elect politicians. Then, in 2005, a new referendum was held, and the people decided that they wanted to introduce a multi-party system. Right now, the country is going through unemployment crisis, and Museveni is no longer considered as a liberation hero by many Ugandans, mainly because his image retained it over the years due to numerous corruption scandals and the claims of the opposition that assures they're being victims of repression, isolation, and kidnappings. Talking about Uganda's religion, Uganda is characterized by a diversity of religious beliefs and practices. The findings of the 2014 census that Catholics are the largest religious denomination constituting by close to 40% of the population, followed by Anglicans with 32% and Muslims with about 14%. Together, these denominations account for more than 80% of the total population. Uganda's religious heritage, its tripartite, conformed by indigenous religions, Islam, that it began arriving in 80s 30s, which made it the first non-indigenous religion to reach in the country, and Christianity, that got there in 1870s and is the most prophesied faith in the country since then. Also, we have to mention that even when the indigenous religions aren't a majority, a big part of the population follows those traditions and beliefs, along with others like Christianity or Islam believing in spirits, ancestry power, and other typical practices.